uh, crashed the plane into the Twin Tower. And lo and behold, when the whole, whole building collapsed, they found a passport mm. of one of the hijackers. What are the odds? Yeah, you know, burning. Everything is burning. That's paper. Yeah, what are the odds, is it? Yeah. All right? And then everybody will say, the Arabs, the Arabs, you know, uh, Islamo fascists. Total diversion. Well, Total diversion. The Malaysians, the Malaysians now. All right? Total diversion. So I'm going to be very careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be very yeah, sure. Yeah. So now I have to go with the magnifying glass and say, look, yeah. what are the diversion, if any? Okay. Right? Where are they hiding under? What layers of mm -hmm. on onion are they? All right? Because I think before we come to the core, yeah. we have to really start peeling slowly. And I think we have to watch from now onwards you know, the various statements made by various people. Mm -hmm. All right? Especially now in Australia. They've taken over the search completely. Yes. Okay. And now, I mean, was it yesterday or today? Uh, the newspaper reported, right, that our Attorney General has a flight to Mother England to determine mm. from a little angle mm. who owns the black box, who will have mm. a custody of the black box. Mm. It's not even an issue, really. No, no I think it's even a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. You do your own. Research. Well, you yeah, yeah. Look, so do I own it? Yeah, right. All right. The plane is. I own the plane. All right. We bought from okay. Boeing. So I own the plane. Intend, they don't intend to give it back to Malaysia. In other words, it will go to Boeing or, or whatever service uh, company or something. All right. Well, okay. So yeah. that to me again is another link. See in uh, in the chain of evidence. Of suspicious activity. See in in criminal law. Mm -hmm. If you charge someone for murder, mm -hmm. you must establish something evidential uh, proof. Mm -hmm. We call a chain of evidence. Okay? The chain has different links. Mm -hmm. And you must establish <coughs> each link in the chain of evidence. Mm -hmm. If one link is missing, you can't convict. I see. You, have to, you have to quit. Because the elements of the crime mm -hmm. will consist of, say for example, five elements, the five links in the mm -hmm. chain. Mm -hmm. If one is missing, you have to quit. The case breaks down. Because you can't prove without, beyond a reasonable doubt. <coughs> but if every link in the chain is established, then that's it. It's an open and shut case. So now, we are seeing various links, right? Yes. You know, being the, let loose. Many missing pieces. Yeah, yeah so Ooh. I think we have to uh, compile them, yeah. store them out, mm -hmm. and then construct the link, the chain. Okay. Then we have some evidence. Okay, okay let's, let's just, this is hypothetical. Let's, let's uh, say we finally catch the gang of perpetrators in one of those three countries, or maybe another country, <coughs> France or somewhere, and we determine the plane was hijacked and these people have been kept for months, possibly years, in captivity for various purposes, and maybe some of them were killed along the way, like this security, uh, this Phil Wood, who was a security man for, for a free scale, so he would try to fight the hijackers and tell everyone, don't cooperate with them, and they would be very angry with them, maybe kill him. Uh, maybe the pilot knows too much. Maybe I kill him. So, what are the crimes? Because you know, uh, there's been hijacking cases before where people are charged, but they're much simpler than this. I mean, you hijack a plane, the plane lands. There's a siege. Guys are captured. What What are they charged with? You know, what, what are the What are the list of crimes in a in a case like this? I mean, it's whole the whole list of crimes. Isn't it? I mean, from piracy to hijacking to murder, the whole uh, you get hold through the whole book at the perpetrators, all right? Because, uh, I mean, I don't think you can charge, why should you charge one crime, what particular crime, all right? But again, here, is it that easy to pinpoint the actual perpetrators, I mean, the actual individuals involved? I think it's difficult. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to pinpoint an organization, be it an intelligence organization mm -hmm. or a country, all right? But to pinpoint specific people, person, I think it's difficult. Why I say that is because to today, John F. Kennedy assassination. Mm -hmm. We have to pinpoint, able to pinpoint beyond reasonable doubt, mm -hmm. the the cabal who did it, yeah. the guy who who, who pulled the trigger. Yeah, I mean organizationally. Yeah. Huh? The man who picked the, up the phone and tell me. Yeah. Yeah, so. Even the guy who actually pulled the trigger. Yeah. We, this is a question mark, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nine one one. 
to the day we didn't know we don't know who gave the order who gave the order all right mm -hmm. of course we had this Khalid fella who was uh, waterboarded for uh, 200 over times what, what have you what about okay likewise 77205 in London who gave the order all right I think that would be difficult and that would be difficult and well, let me ask you this question. Do you think an investigation is feasible, an international investigation? Do you think, or do you think right from the start, at best you can achieve is a few, like the Kennedy assassination or 9-11, get a few more pieces in, but we don't get a clear-cut verdict. There's no way to get it then, then no. What's your, what's your feeling about this? Okay. Uh, I don't think in the short term, and I thought, when I, took, when I said short term, be six months or a year or whatever, you can come up with any different answer, mm -hmm. all right? Because the public is such, they've been so brainwashed not to question authority. We give the benefit of the doubt to any government that comes up with a pronouncement, okay, that something so extraordinary will invariably label as conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. I always tell people, right, look up the dictionary, uh, English dictionary, the word conspiracy is oxymoron. It means two or more people embarking on a common intention or undertaking. It's a conspiracy. It's a neutral word. It's like I propagate as opposed to propaganda. See? Mm -hmm. But of course, that if, the, if the intention is criminal, then of course you have a criminal conspiracy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, coming back, Look at the, uh, I mean, after 30 years, we now know that uh, it was not beyond a government to engage in act of terrorism in false flag operations because way, way back, now it's, I mean, it's, uh, it's open, in, out in the open, you can actually see, actual see the actual document, the memorandum mm -hmm. from the Chairman of Joint of Staff to President Kennedy. Mm -hmm. The Bay of Pigs, after Bay of Pigs, yeah. all right? The chairman of Joint Chief says, I think I think it was General LeMay or whoever, let's do some right, terrorist act mm -hmm. and we bomb Florida mm -hmm. and get some Cubans in Florida to exit their Castro mm -hmm. uh, communist mm -hmm. and then we will destroy some buildings and uh, crash some planes and then blame on the Cubans so that we can have another war against Cuba. Mm -hmm. And that's Operation Northwood. All right? But even with that fact, out in the open, documented. You can just Google anywhere. People will not believe it. Mm -hmm. To the day, if I talk to any American, the Osama bin Laden did not commit 911, the crime of 911. They say, "Are you mad?" Mm -hmm. So I remember in within the what the first year of uh, of the 911, and even before that, right. I used to go to the uh, website of FBI even before 911. Okay, Osama bin Laden was the number one terrorist in the world mm -hmm. to be uh, apprehended and indicted. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the website of FBI, you see his picture, the number one terrorist of the world, and the indictments under his picture. Likewise, with all his uh, so-called associates, like the whole 20 of them, right? With all the pictures, okay? And every indictment was some other crimes other than 911. Till today, you look at the website. There you go. Even all right? Uh, and so Obama makes a hue and cry about how he was assassinated in that, uh, in that compound in Pakistan, right? For 911. But FBI website says he did not commit a crime. There was no indictment for that matter, okay? And yet, you talk to any Americans, talk to any Muslims, mm -hmm. or anyone in Malaysia, how can you say that, Matthias? You, 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 are, you are crazy. You're bonkers, man. Osama did 911. He's the mastermind. So how... So we have this problem, yes. all right, of telling people that governments, okay. intelligence opera uh, operations, organizations, are capable, have done so. And Diego Garcia is also one of the centers for rendition. rendition 
So, for example, I mean, if I say this, you see, my friends will say, you, you, you must be, uh, you know, daydreaming. For all I know, whoever controlled the plane, if and when it's landed, if it's not ditched, could dress up as, right, jihadist and tell every passenger, right, with hijacked the plane, yeah. you're not under our control, yeah. slam them in some dungeons, right, somewhere, and for all I know, all of them, the 239 crew and messages will be thinking mm -hmm. they have been hijacked yes. under control of some jihadists. Mm -hmm. That's it. And they will cooperate. Yeah. And, they will, and they will be kept there for years. Yes. As Witnesses those who have been accused of, right, right, terrorist crime have been kept in years, 10 years or more in yeah. Guantanamo Bay and other cells mm -hmm. somewhere else in Poland or somewhere else in the Middle East with no one knowing where they were. Now, now, uh, Unseen, unheard. Now let's say these people are, are kept 10 years before somehow people of conscience in these countries are able to free them, expose this long, you know, life imprisonment that these people suffer, liberate them, to, you know, free the, pri these prisoners. This is a long time. It wears down on people. There's a huge cost because many family members are very worried now that if their people are captured and there's a hostile power, Terrible things can happen, as in rendition, to these people. Now, you yourself have been held illegally in a foreign prison for a long time. Yeah. So I'm asking you, what are the psychological effects? What are your the, the notion of having legal rights when people don't want to listen to in this place that doesn't recognize the jurisdiction for a Malaysian citizen? Now, maybe you can talk to us a little bit about your incarceration. If I go with that, I think this is back to a bit, right? Mm -hmm. If, example, as you say, they have been incarcerated, right? But as far as the family is concerned, if a government announced that the plane has been ditched and crashed in the sea, there will be closure. They will accept it. I think very few families would have the psychological uh, tenacity or the resilience that based on their faith that their loved one is alive, to go on investigating, knocking on doors to discover what happened to the family. Because he'll be back with the right answer, right? Closure, please. Accept it. Now, it requires a lot of funds, a lot of determination. Where will it end? So I think the powers that be who did this knows the psychology, not only of the victims, but more important, the victim families. Because mm -hmm. they want closure. And everybody's saying, right, it's our time, we should, you know, make some uh, search, and if at all we can't find the black box, there should be closure. And people move on. All right? Because it's beyond their contemplation that something so horrible could have happened in that it could be an act of a government or an organization. It's beyond their comprehension. Yeah, well, this is sad because, let's say, if a child is kidnapped or your father is grabbed on the street by some gangsters, people hang on for decades Precisely. with hope. But if a government does it, you're saying, we just collapse, we cave in. And what bothers me here in, in Kuala Lumpur, there's these huge billboards, condolences, assuming in black and white letters, like a funeral, Assuming already everyone's dead, the crash occurred, with not one shred of evidence pointing, you know, we have not one evidence that anyone's dead. That's why. I think, I, think, that's, I, I, think, think that's, I think, I think the powers that be will follow the template of 911. Mm. The families of 911 had to fight for over a year to, to the Bush administration to have inquiry, right? The 911 commission mm -hmm. to be established. Mm -hmm. to them, Persistent effort. Mm. And then 